Dive bombing red tailed hawks are plaguing a neighborhood in Port St. John. And two people in Brevard County have been struck. One of them went to the hospital. West News Dan Miller reports one neighbor doesn't go outside without a helmet. Ursula Andreo Real looks anxiously at the sky. Up there, on a power pole, a red tailed hawk takes off and buzzes her house. Those hawks are always watching. Now Ursula's got a helmet. They come with the, with the clouds, right? And whoom! They strike from behind with their talons and draw blood. I cry, cry, and, and I hold my head. I have pain. Ursula says this is the spot where she always gets attacked, coming out of her garage to get into her car. The hawks are right up there. I like the birds. They are beautiful birds, but only when they come with this one. <laughs> A neighbor got hit and bloodied and went to the hospital. When we talked to the game commission, they told us that they actually do attack people, so that was surprising. Residents also found out there's really nothing within the law they can do, and they're pretty much okay with that. The young hawks in the nest will be gone in a few weeks, and so will the problem. But I let them. When they will come next year, maybe I go to Germany in this time. <laughs> In Port St. John, Brevard County, Dan Billow, West 2 News.